guys, uh, it's gonna be a little update video of my intentions and ideas of what I will do with my YZ125. Uh, first of all, I got all this new stuff. I got a brand new bar pad, never even been put on. Got a Outlaw Racing aluminum billet throttle tube. Fucking dropped it. But, you know, a little damage is gonna hurt. Uh, because my throttle tube is broken. Brand new UFO plastic foot guards that I'm gonna throw on it. Got a brand new plastic that's gonna go with it. It'll have a brand new resurfaced or reconditioned is what they call it head. That I'm gonna send into this company off of eBay that's in Minnesota. For like $239 and then I send him my head in and they send me one back I well first of all I pay for $239 they send me a box I send my head in they send me one back and then deals done and I have a new head but the problem is I went to go I have to get my head from my mechanic because that's where my bike is it's at the mechanic shop so I have to go into my mechanic to get my head and apparently he already put my head back together so I called him yesterday to make sure I could come pick it up today, and he said, yeah, I'd be able to come pick it up today late afternoon, and I called him around 1.30, and he apparently forgot about it, just hasn't gotten around to it yet. I have all the receipts for my coil, my carburetor rebuild, my plastics, my tires, my sprockets, my chain, my throttle tube, my bar pad, my fork guards, and my shifter, um, that's, uh, but once I get that back, I'm going to try to see if I can, because I have the title and everything, it's in my name, and it's ready to be transferred over, I'm going to try to get, I said I'm going to ask, 1400 for my bike Then once I get that back I've been looking at a couple of bikes on Craigslist I'm talking with a guy uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of him his uh, channel is super snot I'm not sure if the numbers that are in there but he has a he has the bike I want it's a WR 400 and it's fucking awesome I want that bike so bad compared to my YC 125 because you know I'm gonna be need to go to work and I have to drive on a 55 mile an hour road to get there and I don't want to have my bike blowing up within the first two months of me having to go to work just because I have to keep it at a constant RPM so I'm going to get me a kind of an enduro slash a dual sport WR400 with the Baja light kit it has the extra big tank and taillights a horn, or I'm not sure if it has a horn, but you know, I've been looking at a couple of those. I found one for 2200, uh, and that's the same year as Super Snot's bike. And uh, I found a 90, uh, another 99 for 1700, the first one that they all have the Baja design kit, that's what I'm looking into. One's for seventeen hundred and one's for twenty two hundred. The one for twenty two hundred has a graphics kit and that's just all I can see. It's a little it's a little cleaner. It's in take the picture's taken inside of a garage, but it's all around looks a lot better, but it's for five hundred dollars more and it doesn't really matter if it has a paint job to me, you know. Uh but yeah. Um <laughs> that's my intentions of what I'm going to do with my YZ125, I'm going to try to get the majority of the money for my bike. I bought it for $8.50, and it was, they were asking $9.50. I asked $8.50 with the cash in my hand, and of course he took it, and it, I did not know shit about bikes back then. Uh, I'll show you my sprocket from but my YZ125 before I replace the sprockets. Yeah, that's what my bike came with. That's the sprocket. 
So I replaced it with brand new Renthal steel sprockets, I believe they're Renthal. So I replaced that, replaced the chain, um, because that's the thing that was going to go next. Uh, the tires were horrible, replaced the tires as you can see in my other videos. Um, the coil hole went within the first couple of days, the top end blew after the third day. Then it took me about a month to get it running again, but then I wrote it for four months. So, you know, I'm just sick of having that two month period that it's in the shop. I want a bike that I can just do routine maintenance to it to myself. Like, you know, check the valves, check the oil, change the oil, clean my air filter, wash it. That's all I want to have to do. You know, maybe tighten my chain every once in a while. I don't know. But I'm tired of having to do a rebuild every 120 hours that I get put on my bike. And for what kind of riding I do, I can get that on in a couple of months easy. I ride every day. I'm just glad I got this bike running right around. Still can't do this. It works. It's just an aluminum sprocket, and it's missing one of the bolts for right there. I think that's where it actually bent, so I put it on one of the stronger parts where it wasn't bent, where the no bolt is. That's where it actually bent right there, and I put a bolt in there, so hopefully it'll hold up. Uh, but yeah, that's my intentions of what I want to do with my bike. Um, I will be getting a WR400F, or maybe even a WR426F, depending on the year. Cause I've seen a couple of those and it's just a bigger CC engine, you know, I ain't gonna hurt. Uh, all right guys, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think I can get for my bike. Tell me if that's a good bike I should go for. I've been talking with a couple of people and that's, that's a bike I'm, wa I'm wanting to steer towards. 